Grizzly Hills is a temperate, forested region found in the southeast of the Lich King's domain, the continent of Northrend. This rugged wilderness and its ferocious inhabitants seem to turn the clock back on history, progress and evolution making their home in what seems to be the last untouched bastion of nature found in Northrend. However, evil stirs beneath the Grizzly Hill soil, washes ashore along its craggy coastline, and melts down from the icy mountains above. And while Grizzly Hills may seem scenic, almost beautiful from the skies, it is a savage place, the home of wild gods. Grizzly Hills is dominated by dense pine forests, rolling hills, and the colossal remnants of Andrasil, which was grown from a branch of the original world tree. Andrasil was once a symbol of life and a connection to the Emerald Dream, but its roots dug too deep, sinking into the old god yogg Saron's prison, a conduit of ancient malevolence. Now, its shattered trunk, called Vordrasil, lies sprawled across the land, a great scar of the past still marring the present. Several tribes of Furbolgs have taken up residence in this fell titan, shaping its stump into Grizzlemaw, their tribal fortress, their society and customs intricately tied to its spirits and cycles. Despite living here for generations, the Furbolgs are still a primitive people. They can do little to curb the encroachment from both the Goblin Venture Company, which strips away the forest, and the human trapper clans, who relentlessly hunt the wildlife here. These trappers seem to have regressed back into animalistic ways. They show no loyalty to any human kingdom but their own, and worship the night itself as part of their dark religion, the Wolf Cult. Members of the Wolf Cult turn feral under the moon, transforming into Worgen. Their leader has been revealed to be the Archmage Arugal, who was defeated in the Shadowfang Keep by the Horde his head taken and body buried, but soul resurrected by the Lich King as a shade. Though Arugal's powers have reached astonishing heights, his will is no longer his own. A bitter irony to befall the source of the Worgen curse. He has become all he has hated and all he has inflicted with his hate. He has fought monsters for so long that he has become one himself his soul forever trapped in his enemy's domain. This is a barbaric land, hailing from an uncivilized age, an ember from the past which is not yet burned out. The rise and fall of Andrasil is a cautionary tale of overreach, a reminder of the danger of growing power without nurturing responsibility. Its occupants are antiquated, yet brutal throwbacks to a time before time was recorded, where men were monsters and beasts. Yet the grisly hills are majestic. There is a beauty in its resilience against the persistent march of progress in time. It is a land that demands respect, where every step up its rolling hills can lead to two steps back. 